Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are let's play Castlevania Lament of Innocence. And in the last episode, we explored a good chunk of the House of Sacred Remains. And now we will continue on and go through this long hallway and see what we can get right here. Ooh, holy water. Probably my favorite... One of my favorite uh, sub-weapons in the game, and usually my favorite sub-weapon in the Castlevania series. It's just, it, it's just super cool, so. Nice, holy water. Okay, so, this place, just like the other one in the last episode where the floor will come and attack you if you're not very good at, whoa, and there's a lot more walls. So what I wanna do is just double jump and collect all this money. Cause who doesn't love collecting? Ow, 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 ow! Who doesn't love collect? Yeah, you gotta be really good. Dear Lord, stop it! Who doesn't love collecting floating glowy coins? Money! All right, let's see if we can do this. All right, fast. We are gonna be quick on our feet. Oof! All that for twenty-five dollars? Two dollars? Two dollars? Okay. Okay, we're almost there. Alright, we got more. That's it, a thousand! Holy moly, we made a grand. Alright, so, let's go in this doorway. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, yep, let's go here. Let's go here. Alright, another hallway. Yay for hallways! Nice and quiet, I can collect my hearts again. Whoa! Hey, there's a wall over here. Alright, so yeah, this one's a lot trickier than the other one because you ha kind of have to go as soon as that wall goes. Oh, oh, ah! Run! Okay, we made it. Whew. Yeah, you gotta be really careful with that. And there is another way on the other side. But let's go on this one first. Alright. The hallway with some wolf skeletons. Easily defeated. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy there, skeleton. And lighten yourself on fire. What the frig? Let's try going this door. What the hell? We need a yellow dragon key to open it. So, let's go to the map. Let's hit L2 for set marker. And usually what I like to do is color correspond. I do have a yellow marker, so I'm going to put the yellow dragon key door with the yellow. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, I think they mark it themselves, but I like leaving the mark. So, let's go. As soon as that one goes by, go, go. Ah, God. You can jump over those things. I, I have done it before. Okay, so what do we got here? Ooh, another thing. Another uh, button, I guess. Sir. Come on, get on there, Leon. Yeah, sometimes the jumping mechanics can be a little weird. Get on there, come on. Come on, be my buddy. Yay! All right, now I'll just stand on here and let it fall. And there we go. We have door number one. Green light. No more red light, green light. Woohoo! All right, so let's go. Now that we have that door open, that's very cool. Now to get back, kind of just follow the way. Follow the spikes. Alright, we did it. Alrighty. So let's go back. We're going back. Yeah, I'm just going to show this bit of backtrack. Yeah, you know, minor backtracking I'll be showing, but like when I'm going to collect items and things and such, after we get various keys and all that, I will be, you know, editing out all the huge amounts of backtracking. So yeah, a little bit, I'll show it. All right, so we got five bucks. Like I mentioned before, you get that. I already have the holy water, so I just got more money. Let's uh, restore my health, save the game. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but save often, definitely save often. It is totally worth it. I don't know a game besides like I think like Metal Gear games and other games like that where saving a lot will like 
hamper you, like I guess in some Metal Gear games, if you save too much, you know, you won't get certain awards, although I don't really care. Alright, let's, let's beat these guys again. Let's show you how much I've grown as a warrior. Yeah, Belmont. Ooh, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a Rosario. Rosario Dawson? No, no, no. Well, she's cute. Anyway, that thing, just like in any other Castlevania game, will destroy all the enemies on the screen. But those archers, they actually drop a buttload of gold. Wait a minute, there was something there, wasn't there? There's something up there, isn't there? Yes, there is. Cool. You know what? I don't even check this stuff that often. Good thing I do. Alright, we got a potion. Uh-oh. More of you, a-holes. But yeah, that uh, those archers can occasionally... Ooh, yes, this is the door we open. If we didn't get those three switches, we wouldn't have been able to go this far. Oh, she's got a giant ball! Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna mace your face. Yeah, let's use let's use a little bit of holy water. Holy water without any uh, orbs uh, basically does that. We will get orbs in this game that will uh, that will change the uh, the uh, attack of various uh, sub weapons. So keep that in mind for later as well. All right, zombies and a new enemy. What is it, a ghost? Or I forget what the names are. Oh, Bagasso. Kind of like Bagasso, but they'll kill you. Ah, yeah. Here we go. Killing off them zombies. Zomber. Brains. Yep, yeah, alright, done. Alright, and we can go up here, but there's actually something right here, and we got a whip up there. Come up here, and what do we get? Four hundred dollars. I can buy a lot of Chinese food. All right, now let us go this way. We want to head this way first. Clear out the unknown. All right, where are we? Okay, we're in some room. And there we go. Let's kill these wolves. Yeah, so most of these guys in here are kind of neutral. They won't, well, they don't really have elemental weaknesses. Wow, this guy won't die. Jeez. I'm going to put you wolves in bed. Something along the lines of me killing you. Will you just die now, wolf? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's see what's up here. All right. We've got potion. Nice. More potions. That's good because now I want to buy them. I like that. Alright, here we are in another hallway. Hey, it's you guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at all those skeletons. Jeez, crazy. That is a lot of skeletons. Take, take that. The power of holy water. The power of Christ compels you, skeleton. So does the power of a Belmont. Leon! Oh, right, another switch. We only need one more to open up that second door. Red light! Alright, cool. That's why we came here. Alright, I wonder if there's gonna be a buttload of skeletons. If so, let us grab some hearts. Yay. Alright. Ooh, nice. No skeletons. Alright, so you know what? We're gonna skip this crap. Mm, yeah, we're gonna skip this crap too. Usually I say attack everybody, but that's alright. Let's just get through. I wanna see if I can get to the boss. Probably not. But I think next I don't know, we'll see how far we can get. Now, usually, in uh, each stage, um, the music changes when we get to a certain point. A new area in the level. Ooh, I remember this part. Okay. 
Now this is a tricky thing. This is kind of a thing that's going to test your jumping skills. First thing you need to do is, well, yeah, let, let's step on this button here. And it opens up that door, but look, there's an electrifying thing. But up here are some beams we can whip across. Now you have to be very, very fast. Well, not super fast, but you gotta be pretty fast. So what we need to do here is jump, and then whip, and then whip, and then whip. It's really all about timing, and what I've noticed is, wait until Leon flips forward and then hit the whip button. I think usually I hit square, but there we go. See, very fast. You gotta be really, um, gotta be really good. Let's see what's over here. Ooh, a cross. Well, I'll probably pick it up later. But for the time being, let's stick with the holy water. All right, and now we go into the basement. And as you can hear, the music, I believe, has changed. And yeah, I kind of like, I kind of like that they, they change up the music after a bit. Went into a scary area. Underneath the house of sacred remains. Ooh, nice. Underneath the house of sacred remains is all kind of sinister things. Okay, let's kill you. Alright, so, over here, let's go in this door really quick, and see what, ooh, a hallway, I like hallways, at least it's, ah, ah, they could, they could have added some stuff, but I'm glad, ooh, here's where that door is, okay, so let us put a marker here, let's set a marker, the white one, so that we know to come back here later. Okay, good. So there's three parts we need to explore in this place. Anyways, yeah, I mean, I'm glad in some instances they didn't put the, uh, you know, monsters in every hallway because that would be, like, really overkill, you know what I mean? Because we're already going in these big rooms where there's monsters, like, all the time. And then so every hallway would have them, there'd just be a, so many. I mean, Crazy. You need a break when the monsters for just a room or two. This game might have took it a little crazy, but that's alright. Anyways, alright, we'll beat these guys. Now, if we come over here and look at this, remember, goat, woman, goat, woman, woman. This will come in handy a little later for a trick. Holy moly, look at this guy. He's huge. Ah. Dear Lord, we gotta beat him. We gotta beat him. Whoa! Oh shoot, I'm cursed. I think curse the curse status just doesn't look oh this guy's an executioner. And he's wearing a bra? Wait a minute, that guy was wearing a bra? Alright, now here we have woman goat goat woman goat. So yeah, remember that for later. Well, actually very soon, but yeah. Curse, I think, just doesn't let you use relics. Doesn't let you use MP, but it will let you use sub weapons, which is cool. And I'll let you attack. So, where do I want to go first? I think I want to go in here. And let's see, any monsters? Hey, let's see what's here. Oh, a knife. Nah, I don't want the knife. I want to keep my uh, my holy water. My holy water. Okay, so here is the area that you got to remember those things. Now, there's two ways to go. Hence the two um, little patterns that we had here. So let's first do the first one, which was woman. No, which was goat, woman, goat, woman, woman. Okay, now we opened up this door. Let's go through. No, not this door. Must be the one on the bottom down there. Anyways, let's go through this door and get whatever and then go through the other door. Alright, what the hell's over here? Hey, our first uh, increase. That is our HP max up. So now our max HP is up 10 points. And I think it restores your HP as well. Alright, now, now what was the other one? It was Goat Goat Woman Woman Goat Goat. No. Damn it, what the hell was it? I already forgot. I am a moron. Alright, let's go back. Yep. We're doing pretty good on time. 
I think by the next episode I should be able to beat the first boss. And that's pretty good. And Alright, so it's woman, goat, goat, woman, woman. Okay, let's go back. Woman, goat, goat, woman, woman. Woman, goat, goat, woman, woman. Woman, goat, goat, woman, woman. I think I got it. Alright, woman. Go. Go. Woman. No! Wait a minute. Oh, that opened up what I wanted it. Alright, so that one was... What the hell was that? Was that woman, goat, goat, woman, woman? Or woman, goat? I don't even know. Anyways, we got a new enemy here, Poison Zombie. These guys, their barf can poison you, so you gotta watch out for that. Don't step in the toxic bars. Let's finish off these a-holes. Alright, one more. Alright, in the next episode, we will continue exploring this place and hopefully fight the first boss of the game. Bye bye